In this screencast video lecture, we will try to understand what is meant by proteasomes and what is the proteasomes and its relation with translation is. After the process of translation, there may be chances for a lot of misfolded protein formation. So, this kind of proteins need to be properly degraded inside the cell. So, for this degradation mechanism, proteasomes play a major role. Thus, proteasomes are protein complexes that was involved in the degradation of unwanted or damaged protein by the process of proteolysis. This proteolysis is a process in which protein is broken down partially into peptides or completely into amino acids with the aid of proteolytic enzymes. Thus, the enzymes that help in the degradation of proteins are referred as a proteases. So, this kind of enzymes will be present there inside the proteasome structures. Proteasomes forms a major mechanism by which cells can able to regulate the concentration of particular proteins and degrade the misfolded proteins that are occurring in the cell. For the process of proteasome mediated degradation of the protein, proteins are first tagged for degradation with small protein called as a ubiquitin. The name is given due to the ubiquitous presence of this particular protein there in the cell system. The tagging reaction is catalyzed by three enzyme systems. This includes E1 that is a ubiquitin activating enzyme, E2 is a ubiquitin conjugating enzyme, and third one, E3 is a ubiquitin ligase enzyme. All these three enzymes helps in binding of the ubiquitin to the misfolded or damaged protein and carry out their degradation. Once a misfolded protein is tagged with a single ubiquitin molecule, it serves as a signal to attach multiple numbers of ubiquitin molecules by the enzyme action. The resultant thing is a polyubiquitin protein chain formation that is bound to the proteasome molecule that allows degrading the tagged protein. The degradation process yields peptide of about 7 to 8 amino acids long which can be further degraded into shorter amino acid sequence and can be reused for synthesizing new proteins. Now, we look into the structure of the proteasome molecule. It is a cylindrical complex molecule containing a core of four stacked rings forming a central pore. This four stacked ring has been shown there in the right hand side diagram as a dark blue and light blue color rings. Each ring is composed of seven individual proteins. The inner two rings are made up of seven beta subunits that has been shown in a light blue color. They contain 3 to 7 protease active sites which are involved in the damaged protein degradation. These sites are located on the interior surface of the rings so that the target protein must enter the central pore before it is getting degraded. The next one is the outer two rings that have been shown in the dark blue color which found to contain 7 alpha subunits which mainly function as gate through which the proteins enter into the proteasome barrel. These alpha subunits are in turn controlled by a cap structures. So, these cap structures have been shown there in the image as a yellow color structures. They are regarded as a regulatory particles that recognizes the polyubiquitin tags that have been attached to the damaged protein substrates and initiate the degradation process. The overall system of ubiquitination and proteosomal degradation is known as ubiquitin proteosome system. Proteosomes are found inside all eukaryotes, archaea and in bacteria. In eukaryotes, proteosomes are particularly located in the nucleus and in the cytoplasm of the cell. The proteasomal degradation pathway is essential for many cellular expression processes including the cell cycle, the regulation of gene expression and responses to oxidative stress. The studies on this ubiquitin based protein degradation system led to honoring the scientists who have worked in this area with Nobel Prize in Chemistry in the year 2004. 